For the sign of Aries, hello and welcome to my channel. So, Aries, in the recent past, we have direction. And on the flip side of this card, it reads, look for clues. Grace will lead us to the direct events and experiences we need at precisely the right time. Now, direction is paired with finances and career. And it reads, financial issues are a factor in your love life right now. So in the recent past, uh, you could have had some money problems or money issues. And maybe your work or your career, it wasn't going as well as you wish or hoped in the recent past. So you took to direction and you looked for clues. And you probably prayed or hoped that the universe or whatever is your power would have led you to certain events and experiences that you needed at precisely the right time and you were hoping that it would have guided you and given you and gave you direction so that's what we have for you in the recent past just you you just needed direction or you you, you were looking for clues to get your financial and your career situation together uh, and you probably took to a higher power for some guidance because you knew that it would lead you to direct events and and it would have taken you to to be at the right place at the right time now once again that was your recent past so let's move on over and take a look at the present time we have queen of no, for your present time, we have, it's actually a king. It's a king of cups and the page of swords. Let me turn a light on because I think I can't see the cards and that means that you probably can't see them either. So hopefully that helps. Sometimes the glare is worse than having the light on. Sometimes it's better than ter to just turn the light off. But let's turn it on so that hopefully... Uh, I can see what I'm I'm telling you. Now the King of Cups and the Page of Swords is for your present time. The King of Cups is about a balanced male and feminine energy, uh, which holds all positive qualities of both masculine and feminine. Uh, often this will refer to an actual man in your life. Now when we are talking about an actual live person, this person is very loving, very kind, and they'll probably have hair on the lighter end of the spectrum. Just know, at this time, you're supported by the universe in ways that you can see, in ways that you cannot see. This King of Cups, is, like I said, it's about kindness and compassion. There's going to be an element of pure and true love that's in your life or that's coming towards you no matter what your situation is so go ahead and nurture yourself and allow others to nurture you especially when you get the king of the king of cups now when it talks about love and relationships um, it's very very good news with the king of cups there are a few cards that are more loving than the king of cups and if you're single Aries and you're looking for a relationship or love, this can indicate that someone who's very balanced and loving, they're coming, they're coming in, they're coming towards you soon. Now, the suits in the tarot are infallible when it comes to indication of physical characteristics, but in general, the cups will indicate people with hair coloring on the lighter end of the spectrum. So, it could go either way, but that's what it means with when you get a cups card. But just know that it bodes really well regarding love. Now, this King of Cups is paired with the Page of Swords. Now, Page of Swords, it can also stand for about an actual person. There's some type of some person that's um, probably in your life or coming towards you. Now, this person could be younger because the page is about youth or either immaturity. 
Now, there's a message that's that could be coming to you. This message, it may not be what you're hoping to hear, though. The Page of Swords, it tells us that someone could be trying too hard or pushing too fast or stepping on or trying to step on your toes. So you have to study the body language at this time and consider how well you do or do not accept possibly constructive criticism. You're likely to have a great deal of mental and physical energy when you get the Page of Swords, so just try to use it wisely. And when it talks about love and relationships, it points to mild conflict. You have to know when to push and when to back off because many, many fights and discussions, they're actually not worth having as long as your person is treating you with respect. So allow your partner to have his or her own space. Trust is going to be crucial for happiness. And if you're single Aries and you're unattached, get out there and socialize. Even if you just put some pretty pictures on social media and talk to strangers. Because we all know love does not just drop out of the sky by itself. At least I've never seen it do that. So for your present time, King of Cups, Page of Swords. They're both basically saying that there's some type of energy. Uh, there's a loving energy, and then there's an energy of this Page of Swords, the type that might step on your toes. So, and they might send you some type of message that you just, you don't want to hear. So it sounds like a troll to me. Uh, we all know what those are. Um, but this other King of Cups, though, very kind and compassion, compassionate. Uh, like I said, there's an element of pure, true love, no matter what the situation is. Now, these two type of people, they could be coming towards you, or you know these people. Um, one is with mild conflict, and the other is very good news. Very, very good news with the King of Cups. So those are two things you should be looking out for. Look out for those two things. This page of swords, you might this page of swords type person, you might just want to ignore the message if you know who this person is. So let's move on over and take a look at the person you're dealing with, how they view you. They view you as justice and nine of swords. Now, justice, it deals with the ideal of karma and law of cause and effect. It's going to be important for you to remember that not everything you're dealing with is a direct result of your own actions or karma. Sometimes you could be called upon to deal with the results of the actions of someone you care about. So make sure that you're not blaming yourself unnecessarily. If you're involved in a court case in uh, the month of March or around that time, it's likely to be resolved at least a large degree in your favor. Now, when justice talks about love and relationships, if you're questioning whether you or your partner, your, your lover, your person, if you're questioning if you're likely to stay together, when this card appears, the answer is that you'll probably choose to go your separate ways on the other hand on the other hand if you're single this is a time when commitment could be coming your way very soon so stay clear on what you want most from a relationship that way you're going to find it much sooner now this justice card is with the nine of swords so nine of swords is about some type of hardship something troubling someone with, with regards to a relationship don't ignore your gut feelings if you feel that something in the relationship is unhealthy you're probably correct and if you suspect that something is going on behind your back your best bet is to ask your person ask your partner about it if you re if you recently met someone new try not to get too carried away and believing that all is what it seems to be 
because trust takes time to develop and don't be in too much of a hurry and this is how the person you're dealing with how they see you they see you as this nine of swords and justice so they see you as having some anxiety about this connection possibly some type of hardship uh, maybe some depression sadness there's some grief there about them or this connection and because it's with justice um, they also see you as um, dealing with this anxiety and it's gonna um, they see you as or they view this whole situation with the anxiety nightmares or hardship they see it as bringing you clarity and truth or you could have found out some clarity and truth about this connection so whatever it is yep whatever it is whatever hardship this is it's break it, it it could be it could be about something you found out so now it's all out it's all out in the open but um it's it's making you really sad but at least now you have the clarity and you you found out you have the truth with justice yep so that's how they see you now let's move on over Let's take a look at how you see them. You see them as the Queen of Wands. Wait a minute. You see them as, not the Queen of Wands. You see them as, let me get it right. I'm getting it twisted. All right. You see them as, um, what's that? The Moon card. Yep, that's the Moon. And then you see them also as the Five of Pentacles. Now, the Five of Pentacles. It could put it could be a time in your life where you're feeling less than secure. The important thing to remember is that there's always help available when you need it from forces seen and unseen. You could also be feeling alone, um, but you you have the capacity to change that. So go ahead and reach out. You also might be feeling like you're left out in the cold. And so everything well, you could be feeling left out in the cold like everyone else around you has everything. And you're the only one suffering. Something like that. But realize that this is not the case. So do the best you can with what you have. But remember that the wise thing to do is if you need help to make sure you ask for it. Because the help you need, it will come. Uh, when this five of pentacles, when it talks about love and relationships, it's not a particularly happy indicator. You could have your eye on someone you feel that's not treating you the way they should. It may be that you need to stop fantasizing about this person entirely. This can be occurred about, like I said, feeling left out in the cold. And it's important to remember that there's never only one person that we can be with and have a soul level happy meaningful relationship there's more than one because when love is right you will not have to do backflips to make it work so try to broaden your horizons and try to think positive because you're a lovable person you're a lovable person just just know it and tell yourself that now this five of pentacles it's paired with the moon card. Now the moon card is about a highly emotional time. Things can become quickly heated or uncomfortable. So take a break if you need to. Don't make assumptions. Fight fairly if you're going to fight at all. Pick your battles and be sure to treat your lover like a friend. Don't be in too much of a hurry to end or begin a relationship when you get the moon card. This is probably not the best time. Of either course of action and this is how you see your person you see them as this five of Pentacles and and moon and the moon card you see them as 
probably being deceptive with this moon card and you see them as probably wearing a mask and they you see them as probably not really saying how they really feel or not showing you who they really are or not saying um, what you know they should be saying uh, you see them as um, probably someone that you're not feeling like you can trust right now moon card is about deception and because it's with this five of pentacles it's making you feel left out in the cold so that's how you see the person that you're dealing with Now let's move on over and take a look at why it's all happening. We have the Ace of Wands and the Queen of Wands. Now the Ace of Wands is a good card. Very, very good card in the tarot. It's about new beginnings. Very positive ones. They're in the area of accomplishments. And it could be work, family, career, relationships. Uh, if you're having a difficult time now, just know that things, they're about to get much better very soon with the Ace of Wands. Very soon. This card is about upbeat, optimistic, and hopeful. Being hopeful about your future with a very good cause. You could be feeling really energetic, or you will be soon. And positive. Uh, very positive. Uh, it's a good time to start something new when you get the Ace of Wands. When it talks about love and relationships, if you're single, this is about the beginning of a new a brand new love relationship coming in so make yourself available pretty yourself up get the false eyelashes and the, the lace wigs <laughs> try a new color because with this ace of wands um, it's the beginning of a new new beautiful love so make yourself available for love in whatever sense in whatever way makes sense to you and if you're already committed this card it tells you that the relationship is about to undergo a new beginning a great new beginning and that's a good thing and it probably well it will with the ace of wands it will rise to new levels of understanding each other so express yourself now we have the queen of wands now to explain the queen of wands it's a very positive card in the tarot when it comes to relationships and if you're single Aries and you're looking for love and you get this Queen of Wands, this can mean you meet someone suitable, probably from a friend or an acquaintance. Yeah, you're, you're probably not in the mood to be on your own at this time. So once again, get out there and socialize. Put some pretty pictures on Facebook. Something. Do something. Trust yourself and the universe to bring you the love and support you want and need. Queen of Wands could be an Aries Leo Sagittarius. So this is why it's all happening. Ace of Wands and Queen of Wands. Because there's some type of new beginning that's about to start. Brand new positive new beginnings. It's about to happen for you Aries. And because it's with the Queen of Wands um this is a good card very good card it's about um, the universe bringing you love and support that you need someone who's a really good friend is the queen of wands this person will be 100 percent on your side now she could seem self-absorbed at times but this is a really really supportive type person or energy that's going to come with this ace of wands it's going to come with this new beginning so this could be the person that you're dealing with now or it could turn around and and just become a new beginning all of a sudden or it could be something new coming in a new person a new situation 
and it's going to be uh, something very optimistic and upbeat with this person or the situation. But it's going to be a brand new beginning, and you, you'll know it when it happens. Because the Ace of Wands is 